Alabama Bass Trail Television, highlighting the best of the Alabama Bass Trails Tournament Series. Hey everyone, and welcome to Alabama Bass Trail TV. I'm your host, John Byrne, and all year long we've been highlighting each tournament of the ABT 2016 season and the race for the Championship and Angler of the Year competition. It's not only the winning catch for 10 grand, it's points toward the Angler of the Year competition. Today we highlight stop number four of five for the South Division, and the competition is getting tight. Will our location today benefit those current anglers? And how about the shad spawn? Let's check in with Robbie Floyd and Program Director Kay Donaldson as we blast off from Roland Cooper State Park. Welcome to Miller's Ferry in the Alabama River, what may be the John Canada show, the man who's leading both the North and the South. Unbelievable with two different partners. I can't believe what he's doing on, on both ends of the series. You know, he's collected a check in every tournament that we've had so far this year. And, you know, I'm kind of tired of writing his name, but he's a great fisherman. He's paired up with Bo Hunter down here on the south, and they just won Mobile just a few short weeks ago. This morning, I think, is going to be very key. We saw it launch just a few moments ago. I mean, the shad spawn is on. If somebody can get that early, early, early bite, they could make up a lot of ground in a hurry. I think that's why you saw a couple of boats turn back into the cove that we launched from is because they did see that shad spawn very early and they're hoping to make that really short run and capitalize on that early but it is going to be fun to see these anglers and you know a three-way tie for fourth fifth you know sixth place and sending those teams on to the Bassmaster team championship these guys want to win those guys in that top six really want to stay there so I think it's going to be an interesting day out there it's a little bit cooler than it has been in practice but it's going to be a beautiful day of fishing and they get a full seven eight nine hours depends when they come in this afternoon This part of the Alabama River, Miller's Ferry Lake, located in Wilcox County, is known as one of the best bass lakes in the state. It's just a few moments after blast off, and our guide today, North Division, Alabama Bass Trail angler Kenneth Grover, is out on the water with our cameras. This is the Alabama Bass Trail South Division Tournament at Miller's Ferry in the city of Camden, Alabama. And all the anglers have taken off this morning uh, We've uh, come out to try to follow a few and see if we can't uh, figure out what kind of patterns are working and, and give you an idea of, of all the different types of places this lake has to offer. This, this is a, it's part of the Alabama River, so you've got uh, river conditions, but there's a lot of backwater creeks, a lot of shoreline grass, stumps, trees. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of different cover. It looks like they're fishing fairly slow, I, I, I would think. Uh, he looks like he's fishing a jig, maybe swimming a jig a little bit. We'll see a lot of that. We'll probably see a lot of uh, plastics, kind of the same thing. And I'm sure the anglers are probably going to start off shallow, try to get that shallow morning bite. Um, some of them may actually go a little bit deeper as the day wears on. Well, there's currently not a single cloud in the sky, so uh, I think that's what we're going to have all day. It's going to be warm. I think the high today is uh, at like 86 degrees. Uh, the wind's supposed to be out of the north, 5 to 10. So far, the bite seems there, but the size is eluding a couple of anglers we saw early. Kenneth spoke about the challenges these anglers may face not being as familiar with the lake, as well as the less pressure these lakes receive in comparison with your more northern fisheries. And there's so much information on those northern lakes that have gotten out over the years that the fishermen have really learned it really well. The lakes down here, it's still a lot of local knowledge and guys that spend time on the water that, that are really the ones that know the most about it, which is what's, what's really so good about what Kay's doing with the Alabama Bass Trail, because it's, it is given a chance to highlight more of the lakes throughout the state of Alabama. There's one for the live well. They've been alternating between some small plastic. It could be like a, a lizard or a, a cinco type bait and they've also been swimming jigs. Meanwhile, the father-son team of Scott and Taylor Ashley were working the bank as the sun rose a little higher in the sky. The Ashleys are coming off a sixth place finish just a few weeks back at Mobile and are only five points behind current leaders, John Canada and Bo Hunter. Looks like Taylor is tying on a new bait to throw. And it wasn't long before this team were bringing them in. There's two in the well for Team Ashley. Kenneth Grover gives us some insights on the baits these guys are using. We've been on the water for a little while filming and thought I would pull out a few baits that I think we'll see throughout the day. Uh, some of the things guys we've already seen do and, and guys we'll see do later on. 
Uh, but a lot of a lot of uh, shoreline cover here. The guys are going to start off shallow. We're going to see um, creature type baits um, used quite a bit, uh, or, or lizards, uh, you know, plastics. Um, we'll also see some guys fishing the shoreline grass. May even see some fishing heavy cover. Uh, lots of times you'll go with a a more of a slim profile bait to get through the cover easier. And uh, we'll also see crawfish patterns and not only just, just crawfish patterns rigged by themselves, Texas rigged, but we'll also see them teamed up with jigs. Um, this, this is a, a, a pretty common combination for, for tournaments. Uh, guys that fish jigs a lot, tend to, their, their weights tend to be quite a bit better on average. Um, like I said, we've also seen some guys throwing swimming jigs. This is a gambler swim jig and usually team it up with a, with a swim bait and you can get swim baits in various sizes. So these guys lots of times will, will pair the swim bait, the size of swim bait based on the forage that's in the area. But this is probably pretty typical for the size bait that would be used this time of year. Um, we've already seen some as well throwing shallow crankbaits. Uh, here's just a square bill crankbait. There's a lot of stumps and cover and the square bills come through that cover really well. Uh, so these are some of the some of the baits that I think we'll see throughout the day, and uh, you know as we film it and do more, we'll, we'll kind of see this unfold. Thanks, Kenneth. We'll be back on the Alabama River when Alabama Bass Trail TV continues. Alabama Bass Trail TV is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, by Phoenix Boats and by Wind Creek Resorts. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com, where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you're spinning, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that. It's another ending to your glorious, hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Watonka. Find your winning moment. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. You've witnessed the action, the thrill, and the competition of the Alabama Bass Trail. Isn't it time you got involved? Coming in 2017, over $47,000 paid out for each event. No entry fee championship. 85 grand up for grabs, including a new Phoenix. More than half a million in cash and prizes. Now's your chance to hook your share. Sign up now by logging on to alabamabasstrail.org. The Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series, presented by Phoenix Bass Boats. Wilcox County is our host for today's tournament, and what a sportsman's paradise it is. Located in the heart of rural Alabama, it has plenty to discover. No one better to tell us about it than its local outdoors enthusiast and host of Getting Outdoors radio program is Big Daddy Lawler. People that have never heard of Miller's Ferry in Wilcox County in Alabama Black Belt it is a diamond in the rough because we are in the raw, rural south of Alabama. 
and unless you're coming here, it's no reason really to come here. But uh, Kay Donaldson, the Alabama Bass Trail, uh, hooked up with us three years ago, and, and she is instrumental for what I call kicking the ant heel off of tournament fishing in the state of, in, in our area. When you bring something like the Alabama Bass Trail to a little small area like Camden, Alabama, and Hardy sells out a sausage on a Wednesday, <laughs> you know it has an economic impact on your area. And, uh, and that's why we're so proud to, to have them. And it's, it's just an ideal hunting and fishing area. It is uh, just magnificent natural resources at its finest, not to mention the hunting and fishing, the birding. Wilcox County also has bragging rights that no other county, or for that matter, no other state can claim. Mandy Stokes and her team brought in the world's largest alligator right there on the Alabama River. During the whole entire event, we had no idea an animal this size even existed, number one, but we didn't know what we had on the line because he was under the water. The previous record was 14 foot 2 inches, 838 pounds. It's a, it's, a, it's a Cinderella story almost because we've never been. We still haven't been again because none of the five of us have drew another tag, so we're still waiting on a second opportunity. And nothing is better after a day on the water or in the woods than a great meal. Miss Kitty's should be your midday stop. Every day we have a fish, we have pork chops, um, we have some type of seafood like shrimps maybe, um, macaroni cheese, rice, field peas every day, candy yams, fresh cut candy yams every day. Um, baked chicken and fried chicken every day, and something in gravy every day. And for winding down in the evening, a stop to Hunter's Run In and Pub is a must. Well, this is Hunter's Run. We built it uh, 24 years ago from scratch, and we've been catering to the local people, the mill, and the hunters and the fishermen. Well, we specialize in ribeyes, uh, barbecue. Uh, we do a lot of different items. Uh, the menu hadn't changed in 24 years, and we stick with what works. Camden, Alabama, truly an outdoor paradise. Jimmy Cook and Randall Sims are working topwater buzz baits this morning in what looks like the main river. Jimmy Cook won this event last season with his co-angler, last year Joey Mann. They brought in a 19.84 sack to take the win. I'm sure they wouldn't mind a repeat of last year. This team got on them as we can see. They found their pattern and it's working well with a couple in the live well right now. Rob Kyle and David Shriver are looking to move up in the points as well as weight. This team came in 31st at the last Southern Division Tournament on the Mobile Tennessee Delta, bringing in five for 8.47 pounds. Oh, he was very good. Oh, buddy. Playing tug of war with him, I thought it was on a limb. There we go. Man. You got a fish. <laughs> John Canada and Bo Hunter have had an amazing run this season. John is competing in both the North and South Divisions, but looking at the South Division only, John and Bo are racking up those Angler of the Year points, coming off a surprise first place win a few weeks back in Mobile, taking second at Lay Lake, and they got off to a decent start at 13th place at Lake Martin. John has also competed well with his partner Brian Roy in the Northern Division, staying in the top 15 in each of the three tournaments there so far this season. Looks like John is on one right now. That one won't make the team. These guys are definitely ones to watch as the season moves on. South Division angler Foster Bradley and teammate Britt Lemley are working the bank this morning. This team did well at Lay Lake, coming in 11th place there, and it looks like they have a keeper. Coming up next, we weigh them in on the Alabama River from Miller's Ferry when Alabama Bass Trail TV continues. Alabama Bass Trail TV is sponsored by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports. I'm freezing. Well, I told you to bring a warmer jacket. When? Every day since you could walk. Now I just say it with my eyes, like... Folks, Park Ranger Mark. What's up, bro? Hey, forest cop. You're taking up a lot of space. I'm going to need you to move a vehicle. Todd, load the four-wheeler into the truck. 
That's like bundling, because Progressive can bundle your boat, ATV, and RV with your truck to save you money. Don't talk to her. She has rabies. Rabies was created by the government. Look it up. <gasps> Who are you people? Yay, Grandpa's still alive. I don't want to buy any cookies, little girl. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got 100 road trips, and some of the best are outdoors, like a trip to Lake Gunnersville. First stop on the Alabama Bass Trail. Catch anything? Nice. Or head to the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. 468 holes of golf heaven. What's the time say? Best public golf on the planet. Alabama's got 100 road trips. Plan yours at alabama.travel. Which one you gonna take? Welcome back. Tournament director Clay Baldus and Robbie Floyd have another running bet as to what the winning weight will be today at Miller's Ferry. And they're at it again from the weigh-in stage. Take it away. Robbie, I believe I said 1720. 1720 is what you're guessing. I'm guessing 1970 because it was a fantastic year that I was born in. I think they're going to catch them today. And the Shad Spawn, without question, was on at launch, right where they couldn't fish. Could they take advantage of it somewhere else out on the water? Oh, absolutely. They could fish in the cove. There was just a small area right here off the point where we're at that they couldn't fish. Shad Spawn was all oh, yeah. over it. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, it was absolutely nuts. And it had to just kill them <laughs> to sit there and watch them underneath the boat. And of course, the uh, one of our unofficial mascots of the Alabama Bass Trail. How did you do today? I wanted to talk. Not worth the darn today. You said you caught a lot of fish, or you caught your five. They just weren't the five you were looking for, huh? That's right. They were bad. <laughs> what, what were you doing? What, what style of fishing? I uh, fishing shaky head and takes a rig in the water. All right, let's find out. You do have your five bass. Let's find out where these five are going to weigh. Looks like one pounders, maybe pound and a quarters. Six oh one for your five. Hey, y'all are winning the couples division, right? Uh, Not now. Oh, you, you're in the lead until somebody knocks you off. Look at it that way, all right? It wasn't long until the weight started building up. I think we got, we got a decent bag for us, but I don't think it's going to hold out. It is a good bag. Our new leader is right now 1546 for Ingram and Grogan. Good job over that 15 mark. Jeremy Hadley, Anthony Goggins, come on over here. They sit 20 points behind our leaders, Canada and Hunter. <laughs> I, hang on. I, I see, hey, I'm trying to think positive right now. There's five in there, but uh, not good five, huh? No, we run every inch of the river today as far as you can go and all the way back. I think we run away from the fish. 839 for your total. You know when you're moving, you're not catching, right? That's right. We uh, we spent about four hours running today worried about fuel, and the, uh, they never released the generation schedule, so the conditions that we had practiced for uh, just didn't materialize. If you remember, this team took it away on Lay Lake earlier in the season and just missed a top 25 win in Mobile. How'd it go? Really good. Five, five bass. He says it went well. It did go well. Did go very well. Will it be enough? I think they might take over the lead. 1546 was the lead. 1735. We've got a new leader. Good job. It's that simple, right? It, it happens every day. You just go out there and, you know, hammer 17 pounds on the Alabama River. Kyle Welch and Chris Haynes had a good day bringing in a nice 16.86 pound sack, including the big fish of the tournament thus far, a whopper at 6.27. Well, we started off at a shad spawn early. We just fished grass and wood for the first three hours, and after that, pretty much just died for us. What was the key on the grass spawn this morning? How, how did you even have any idea there was a shad spawn going on? Well, I, I found it Thursday. I drove straight back there, and in like 10 minutes, I caught a four pounder, and it was Yahtzee. Yeah, that was perfect. The Alabama River was really good to the team of Jason Kaiser and Kevin Carpenter. How'd it go? Pretty good. Really good? Yeah, I think so. Pretty good. What's pretty good going away? Uh, 18, 19. Ooh, I like hearing that. Oh, he had a better than pretty good day. Our lead, 1735, Corey Ingram and Kenneth Moore. I do believe we have a new leader, Kaiser and Carpenter, 1913. I can see some confidence in your, in your, in your facial expression coming up here. How did you catch your bass today? Uh, just went back to the basics, spin a bait. What'd you think you could catch today after practice? Um, I, I didn't even practice. My partner practiced a couple of days. What did you think you could catch after your practice? We were hoping for at least 12 to 14 pounds, maybe. Had a bad practice. So what was the difference today? I guess him not pre-fishing. <laughs> Obviously. Of course, you're leading this thing. $10,000 look pretty good in your back pocket, huh? Absolutely. Will the 1913 from Kaiser and Carpenter hold up? We'll see when the weigh-in continues right after this. Mm -hmm. 
Alabama Bass Trail TV is presented in part by Bill Penny Toyota, official truck of the Alabama Bass Trail, by Sweet Home Alabama, Alabama's official travel guide, alabama.travel, and by Phoenix Boats, experience the Phoenix difference. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you're spinning, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama night. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetunka. Find your winning moment. I thought I told you to stay off our turf. And what would you know about turf, Skipper? Let's end this here and now. Let's dance. Hello there. Progressive covers boats and RVs, OK? Plenty of policies to go around. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm the bad guy. You threw a fish at us, so yeah. 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 Coverage for land and sea. Now that's progressive. 1913 from Kaiser and Carpenter is the wait to beat. Can anybody get there? Let's head back to the stage and find out. Did y'all play sports growing up? Yeah, I quit because I wasn't no good, so I started fishing. All right. Well, hey, I think you're doing the right thing because you caught a big fish today, at least one. I was at one toad in there for sure. You're in the top five. Looks like 1588 for Turner and Lay again in a big and you needed 627, you got 618. Less than one tenth of a pound. Here they are, the leaders of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division, John Canada, Bo Hunter. How did it go today? I'm not even gonna look, I see five. Was it a good day of fishing? It was all right. You're saying all right. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be all right to hold on to it. Holy smokes! It takes 19-13 to take the lead. They didn't do that. But 18-19, these guys are unbelievable in 2016. Y'all just come off of winning at Mobile and you back it up with it looks like another top five. How in the heck do y'all keep this mojo going? Uh, bunch of practice, bunch of time, you know, uh, put into it. And uh, it was really cool this morning. We got a, they put a camera on us. And so we got either three or four of those fish on the camera. So it, right off the bat, we just, what happened is we didn't fish no current. We went in the grass, and I had to run net all day today. So, hey, it's a team. It's a it's it's a team. Honestly, though, it's a team yeah. sport. If you're not on necessarily today too, and you are, I mean, it's all about the team, and, and it paid off today. Yes, sir, it did. So, what specifically were y'all throwing? How'd you catch your fish? We caught some fish on a shad spawn early, soon the jig, and then we caught one better one flipping later in the day. Wow, what a roll they're on this afternoon. 604 bass were weighed in, over 1,200 pounds of fish. The Alabama River proved to be one of the best in the state. Here's Kay and Robbie to wrap things up. 
Kaiser and Carpenter didn't disappoint. 19 pounds it takes to win. I mean, look at it, 20, 19, 19. Miller's Ferry does it again. You know, it's just like the, the lake actually showed out a lot, like the community does. It rolled out the red carpet for these anglers. And I got to say, best anglers in the southeast. Just last week, this lake had a tournament, had 13 pounds. Our guys roll in, it's over 19 pounds. I'm sure some conditions change, but to me, these are the best anglers in the southeast, and they always get it done. Chambers and Crow had a good day in the top 10. They're going to move up in points, but it's hard to make up ground on the points leaders. I cannot believe Hunter and Canada do it again. They almost take a win. They're the one pound out of winning this thing. You know, it, they're just, they're, the year they're having is just crazy. Uh, no one expected them to go to Mobile and take the win. They certainly didn't expect them to come down here with very limited practice and be able to get in a top three, top five position. So they've done a fantastic job all year. It's going to be really interesting watching how this plays out in the next tournament. And, and no doubt also the, the guys at the top of the leaderboard, they're looking forward to Jordan, the final stop of the ABT South. But our next round will be at Logan Martin. We're back for the Alabama Bass Trail North Division. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm your host, John Byrne. Tune in next week for more of Alabama Bass Trail TV.